Hello, this is Jet Guy with the Wanhao Duplicator 6. This video is about the leveling process, and I'm going to try to address a, a place where I believe the instructions could be a little better, the on screen prompts could be a little better, but this is where uh, quite a few people, and even myself, have made the mistake uh, in trying to follow these instructions. So I'm going to highlight the issues and where it goes wrong. So the first thing is, um, actually in the manual, um, so this is actually the manual, this is like page 20. One of the things that it says here is, when leveling the build plate, you must follow the step 4 slash 21 until 10 dash 21 and control the height by rotating the knob, okay? This is a key understanding of how this system works. Um, so now I'm actually going to go through the sequence and show you. So on the display, we're going to go to maintenance, build plate, okay, continue, oh, sorry, okay, so it's going to raise the build plate in home. Now I want to try and show you this, the limit switch is here at the back, that's the actual limit switch. Okay, so we've moved to our first position here. Now, per the manual, it wants you to move a millimeter away from the build plate. Let me explain why it's telling you to do this, okay? The thing is, if the plate is highly tilted one way or the other, as this nozzle moves to your three positions, okay, there's a chance it could drag the nozzle into the build plate if it's severely out of level. Again, the whole idea that you're running the level script, we don't know where you're at, we assume that it's unlevel. Okay, so what it's going to have you do, it wants you to move it to about a millimeter away by turning the knob. Now the other problem with this is, this isn't an exact um, measurement, right? We're not putting a feeler gauge in, we're not uh, using any type of test piece, we're eyeballing a millimeter away, okay? And again, just please understand the intent behind this is, you're just trying to get, if the if the build plate was grossly out of level, we're talking like tilted, you know, 30 degree angle, the idea is to get it reasonably level. So they're having you do a, uh, an artificially large gap on the first pass here to all three leveling points to just basically get it in the ballpark, okay? So again, you turn the knob up and down, you try to get about a millimeter gap. It's just trying to get you close. Again, I'm not actually even going to turn the screws on this pass because I'm reasonably level right now. It's not striking it. We're not having problems where the nozzle's hitting it. Now, this is the most important part. So, this is the last step. So, we're going to hit continue. Okay. Now, repeat this step. But now, use a sheet of paper to fine-tune the build plate level. The problem is this screen can only display so much information is the first part of this problem. The second part of this problem is you really need to change the instructions to go back to this key step here. The control knob is what determines where the build plate's at right now because it's actually controlling the motor. So we hit this continue one more time after this step. It's going to move to the front point. At this point, now turning the knob can raise or lower the build plate, okay? Now the other thing is, lower it down first, slightly. Now go up slow, one tiny little notch at a time. What we want to listen for is that micro switch making the click so that we're back home again. I really, I, I kind of don't prefer this particular firmware step. This isn't really the best way to do this. But unfortunately, it's what we have in the current firmware. So this is the way that's not explained in the instructions. Again, what we want to do is turn this up and as I get closer here I want to go just tiny little steps at a time you heard it click I want to go back down and it usually takes like two or three steps to go back down before it unclicks but I want to go back up until it clicks again there that's the first step that it made the click at now this is when I take the sheet of paper and I slide the sheet of paper in, okay? Sorry, trying to do this two-handed and hold the camera. 
This is where I slide the sheet of paper in, and this is where I would make that build plate adjustment and actually turn the leveling screw here, okay? Actually, the wing nut, I apologize. So again, this is the point where I want that just very slight tension on the paper. You can just feel it drag. Just It makes almost kind of a vibration feeling because the nozzle kind of bounces across the printed uh, text on the page that was printed with a laser printer. So now that we have that first point set, now we press it again. I'm going to go to the back, and then we're going to check these points. And that point's good, so I don't have to turn it. And now we're done. This is proper leveling. Again, the problem is on that second pass, the instructions and the LCD simply don't have the text ability to display these additional commands to you that you really have to turn that knob and you have to ensure that it rehomes the bed. Because if you don't do that step, you'll have an artificial gap. In fact, what you'll do is, because you have a gap because the bed plate is lower than the limit switch, you will, in turn, mistakenly loosen these screw these uh, thumb screws and let the bed go up too high so it's actually above the limit switch level thus crashing into the nozzle and so again this is really just an instructions update it's a pretty simple fix but it's just a, another way to do it thank you